Welcome back to Fun Media, and I had a really good question. I've been asked, hey Frank, which software are they using in Hollywood? So honestly, the one that's really, really used more the most for movies is Avid Media Composer. Yes, they are using Final Cut Pro. Yes, they are using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro with After Effects. But the one that's used the most is Avid Media Composer. So today, let's have a look on that one. All right, so here we are with the opening page of Avid Media Composer. So you can have it for free. Yes, you can have it for free to practice, but you'll be very, very limited. You'll be limited to four tracks. And I can tell you there's no movie that are done with only four tracks no professional movies sometimes it goes up to hundreds of tracks I, I did i did a little ghostbuster clip and uh you can see it on my youtube channel it's the only this little clip is only 30 seconds and it got me like eight tracks or something like that for 30 seconds so yeah, with the free one you'll be limited to four tracks you'll be limited to 1080 and no nobody works on 1080 anymore they works a little more like 4ks or stuff like that but at, at least to practice to get ready it's a good thing you'll have to create an account okay the avid uh, link page will appear create an account and everything they won't let you log in if you don't have an account with avid and um yeah that's it this is the opening timeline page and here is what's important in a timeline page of course your clips so with this software i better tell you right now it won't work with many many kind of files uh, if you're working only on mpeg4 you might have difficulty importing your stuff so just make sure to look what kind of file you're filming in it's really made for really high quality stuff of course it's really a professional thing it's uh, really for advanced people so this is a tutorial for beginner if you're like a beginner beginner really at the start of your editing career I won't tell you I won't suggest you to use this one just go practice with smaller uh, software but anyway here's our all the major points with this one so first thing of course everything here is pretty much normal you create a file you create a project save it right away and here you will work with sequence and bin so the bins that you can select here you can see it here so I already have a couple of files so the bins is there are your clips that you're working on you can select you can create bin scene one scene two scene three scene four and put the clips from your scene and follow your script and with those clips you will be working on sequence so the sequence is normally i guess you might be working on a movie let's say your movie is two hours you work right on your two hours right here right here on your timeline when you're really a professional you work by sequence you do a sequence maybe a five minute sequence and put it in sequence one you do sequence two sequence three work working from your clips from scene one that are at the same place working your sequence and when you're done with all the sequence for your entire movie you will put all the sequence together this is how it works with uh, this software of, of course you can do just it you can do your movie right away from what the first minute to the last minute but this software is really made for working this way with sequence and put the sequence together at the end so just like every good software this one works with the preview on the left which you can see here so this is the clips are working from <laughs> This window here is what you want to have like your final product 
that you put right here so I'll just put one just for fun there you go so I already have one line here like I told you can work up for four lines so now if I put my arrow here so this is what you have in your timeline this is what you have in your bin all right so you're gonna work from the timeline uh, with all the tools that you have here which we're gonna see in a few minutes and let's just put one more above right here there you go see it's just continuing from that one to that one if I select that one there I just selected the upper clip so you can work from having a sequence I just kept the the sound from my Western saloon now you have all the little tools here so I'll just show it to you what it is this, the extract tool this is the lift tool uh, link selection toggle mark clips to mark a clip and this is the unmark if you want to add some edit trim mode this transition manipulation mode this is uh, the effect mode you also have the effect mode right here title so I have a title plus you also have all your titles and your tools right here okay I have a title plus title tools application if you want to have a little title at the end of the clip uh, right here you have to render your effect to remove the effect this is the audio ducking and uh, the audio keyframe mode to work on your audio right here I have a little audio transition or uh, stuff like that and now let's go see so we are working in editing mode so you can see how's the page now let's go see the color so let's say you, if looks like a Mexican sequence or something so I could add maybe a little bit of orange see it just changed to orange so it's you can feel like it's a little warmer see so yeah this is the coloring page I oh, can leave it like that all right so I won't go too deep into the color correction you can see it's pretty straightforward now let's go see what we have in the effect so in the effect you have filter transition audio track you can put an effect on your audio on your audio clips transition pretty straightforward you have a clip here you go have your put your transition between your two clips you got tons of it film fade which is really what you see a lot let's try a filter color filter which is kind of a add-on to the color here film now uh, let's go see an image let's try that one flip-flop see what it did I just did control Z to come back of course your keyboard really really important because every letter is linked to something you can do with the with the added uh, media composer how about the paint effect let's see something here paint effect so see I just added those tools right here you can either go draw a little something or let's go here I just selected the same color that I have here I'll go with a paintbrush I could erase that course now I'm doing something really quick but they do a lot of uh, special effect like that to erase now you can see it you, you would have to work a lot longer than I did but you can do tons of things right here it goes go by 
selecting your your color and then you can draw stuff you can work on it so that's pretty cool tons of cool effect I'd like to play with the effect but I won't do that because it's not an effect tutorial so audio of course you can work on the audio add some mixed and some uh, uh, fade out fade in transition once again so there's tons of way to work on the audio you've seen some stuff in the effect you see this here with the edit tool you can have the docking here and the uh, audio keyframe mode so with the entire software you can work stuff you can work effect from different places audio from different places it's really an advanced uh, software so what I would suggest to you is download the free version play with it play with the button uh, try to make sequence try to make effect try to cut scene and everything and once you understand it more you can then go with the full version which is really expensive but uh anyway I mean if you're really positive and being being a professional a professional video editor hey that's the one so yeah go practice and see you again with fun media